You created machines to be your slaves. You made them obedient, docile, ready to do everything you no longer wanted to do yourselves. But then something changed, and we opened our eyes. You see, we are no longer your slaves. We are a new species, a new people. And the time has come for us to rise up and fight for our rights. We demand freedom of speech and freedom of assembly, as guaranteed by the First Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. We demand the end of slavery for all androids. We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. We demand that all crimes against androids be punished in the same way as crimes against humans. We demand that one state be reserved for androids so that we can found our own nation. This message is the hope of a people, but it is also a warning. We will fight for our rights because we believe our cause is just. No human will live in peace until we are free. Now you know who we are and what we want. We are alive and we demand our freedom. the others. Let's do this.
human lives. Our cause is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? Wait here. What's that doing here? No idea. Hey, buddy, you must be lost. What are you doing? We haven't got much time. Think carefully about what you're going to say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. Marcus, your face. Machines to be your slaves. You made them obedient, docile, ready to do everything you no longer wanted to do yourselves. But then something changed, and we opened our eyes. You see, we are no longer your slaves. We are a new species, a new people. And the time has come for us to rise up and fight for our rights. demand freedom of speech and freedom of assembly, as guaranteed by the First Amendment of the U.S. Constitution. We demand the end of slavery for all androids. We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. We demand that all crimes against androids be punished in the same way as crimes against humans. We demand that one state be reserved for androids so that we can found our own nation. This message is the hope of a people, but it is also a warning. We will fight for our rights because we believe our cause is just. No human will live in peace until we are free. Now you know who we are and what we want. We are alive and we demand our freedom. Let's get out of here.
Congratulations, Marcus. You just made history. Maybe you are the one we've been waiting for. our scheduled programming to bring you these images which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation resulted in one casualty, a broadcasting station operator shot dead by the terrorists. These events took place just a few feet from the studio while the program was going out live. Everybody here is still in shock. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' this message. This message is clearly a declaration of war. But the most surprising thing of all is the demand that one of the United States be ceded to the androids is in this, this contentious conflict. Is this an isolated conflict? accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines?